Okay, I've shown a little bit of material options. I'm, I'm using the example here of a, a car and uh, the reason I'm doing this is I want to show you, you can actually bring inventor files or fusion files into Showcase. You're not limited to to what you create in Revit. Um, what I'm doing is I can change the material options that I'd shown before. I'll make the car a bit more noticeable. And then this is new is the behaviors. If you see that I can create an action item where I, if when I execute on it, I can open or close the doors. And what you can do is you can create triggers associated with the action item so that when you, for example, click on a door handle, the door will open on, this, on the screen. You'd use what's called presentation mode, which is the tab key, to turn that on. And then as you move through the model, you'll be able to initiate actions by something that you do in the actual project. So I can I can quickly you know go through options showing people um, alternatives, and then uh, I'm going to turn that off. Let me just close that down. And what I want to do is just show you how easy it is to create an animation. Um, these are ones that, I, that, are, that were existing in this sample file. And you see by clicking on it, it's like there are positions for the camera that are saved and you can move around the model by just clicking on those. You can then combine them into what are called slideshows. So if I just, uh, if I hit on the option that says, uh, to play all of the shots that are part of a slideshow, it'll go through a whole sequence of changes. Uh, I'll go back up to the slideshow in a minute and just expand it so you can see the individual animations that were combined to make the actual slideshow. So you see what it's doing is going through all of those combined changes to run through and show me the completed movie. So it, it does a lot of different things. For example, I can cut sections through my models and uh, I, can, I can have behaviors attached to things in the model. And I've shown some of the options with regard to alternative, alternative materials or positions or lineup, things turned on, things turned off. Um, I'll think of this as being where you want to quickly create a live presentation and you can interact with with the content. You can export uh, to create movies, um, but its strength really lies in a, in a live presentation. Um, although having said that, you can, you can right click and save an image, so there's actually no rendering time if you want to create that. 